Hi everyone, today is April 30th, day 24 of Singapore's circuit breaker. It is raining heavily now and you can hear the thundering in the background. Please bear with this. The number of infections has increased and crossed over 15,000 cases. Two days ago, Prof. Dale Fisher said that foreign workers in dormitories with high number of infections, if they have clinical respiratory illness, they will not be tested but sent straight away for isolation. This is to isolate and separate them from the other workers so as not to infect the rest. This number will not be counted and not added to the daily total, but you hope that eventually the numbers will be counted. In the evening, after I have uploaded my previous video, Ministry of Health's Director of Medical Services, Kenneth Mark, held a press briefing. He explained the rationale for taking these actions. This is what he said. One of my viewers brought up a very interesting scenario. He said, if you take groups of foreign workers who have COVID symptoms and isolate them and treat them, the numbers could be in several thousands. We can now spend time and energy to test all the other people. We also know that these workers are young, strong, and they show very mild symptoms. Let's say after a month, they all recover and we test them. What would the result be? It will most likely be negative. So if these thousands of workers who are now tested negative will the numbers be added to the national total number of infections i don't know let's uh, wait and see let's take a look at the latest information after this i will share with you the various scenes of Teka market I will speak to you again in a few days time on or around May the 4th. This is where Singapore completes the first four weeks of circuit breaker. At that time, perhaps our Prime Minister may speak to us again to give us new directions on whether the circuit breaker will be tightened further or relaxed. Till then, everyone take care, stay safe. Thank you for watching.